Hello YouTubers, Robonkey Jr. here, and in today's video we are going to talk about some of the new DLC stuff that has dropped in the past couple of days for the Turning Tides DLC. Now there will be a playtest tonight, um, if you guys want to check the times that it will be available in your region, um, I will leave a link to the Reddit thread down below in the description and in the comments so people see it. So in this playtest, you'll be able to try two of the new maps uh, coming out in the Turning Tides DLC in a very, very early state. So there will not be any textures on the maps. It will be much like the uh, community map that was released in Battlefield 4. Uh, so basically, you'll be able to play Cape Hells and Achibaba. And you'll also be able to try uh, most, if not all, of the DLC weapons coming out in Turning Tides. But anyway, this is what the, not what this video is about. As you can tell by the title, um, there was some info about the new elite class that is coming out in Turning Tides that was released and I think he looks very awesome. Um, I'm not a big fan of elite classes in general, especially not in small game modes, but I do feel as though they bring a nice variant to the Battlefield 1 gameplay and I think this one is probably going to be my favorite one seeing as he is an elite class that will actually help the team more than uh, most of the other elite classes. Um, basically an elite class I usually find it's kind of uh, play your own thing and do your own type of thing. Of course you can help teammates by uh, going on the point and being a harder target to kill but I mean you don't really help them in the bigger scheme of things. As for this one who is supposedly called the Infiltrator, will be going through his ability set right now. Now, take this with a grain of salt. This might not be 100% confirmation. This was leaked, um, so we will have to wait and see if these are actually his abilities. But anyways, this is how it goes. Artillery strike. So basically, from the image on screen, you can see there's like a little transmitter thing. He has all this communication equipment on him. Obviously, this is just a, a skin a model that you're gonna put on the already existing character model. So you're just gonna put the hood on and the communication information on whatever faction uh, that elite class is for. And then that's the player or soldier you're gonna get. I mean, he, he will have legs and arms. Don't worry about that. Anyways, he it looks like he has like, quite a bit of communication equipment and earpiece. He has that little uh, transmitter thing on the side there. It looks like a box with like a little mic in it or something. So. I would imagine that's what he will use to call in the artillery strikes. Also, it says that he has a spawn beacon. Now, this is very cool. Th this is probably uh, something that a lot of people have been asking for in the community to bring back the spawn beacon. And uh, I think DICE have been listening to that for a while, but just didn't know how to implement it uh, and what class to give it to. So they gave it to an elite class. And I feel like this is a very important piece of equipment and will make this elite class a lot more team oriented than previous elite classes. So I'm very happy about the spawn beacon coming back to Battlefield 1 and also he has a permanent sprint boost now he I like the character model this one he looks uh, very sneaky and I feel like it's gonna be a very good tactic to take this elite class and go behind enemy lines call in artillery strikes spawn beacons and I feel like all his abilities pretty much uh, give him the capacity to do this. He has he has permanent sprint boost. He's going to be able to sprint past enemy lines and get in there and put a spawn beacon down. Maybe particularly in Conquest Assault, which is basically one team starts with all the flags and the other team starts at the beach and you have to storm the beach. This would probably be a very useful elite class to have and get behind the enemy lines and put a spawn beacon so your team can spawn there. Uh, no news on who's going to be able to spawn on the spawn beacon. I would imagine it's going to be like the whole team, but um, I mean, all this is really preliminary information and we can't really know until we actually get to try him. No news on whether or not we'll be able to try him in the play test tonight on the CTE, but uh, I am very excited for this and we also don't know what kind of weapons he will have. Now, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited to try out this new Elite class. Um, if you'll be trying out the CTE tonight, I know I will. And while you're down there, be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that notify bell. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.